الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحبت في الله Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's creation is vast, is beautiful, and is there for us to enjoy and reflect upon so that way we might be closer, come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And realizing that nothing is worthy of worship except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi kitabihi al-kareem, وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ أَلَيْلَ وَالنَّهَارَ وَشَمْسُ وَالْقَمَرُ لَا تَسْجُدُوا لِلشَّمْسِ وَلَا لِلْقَمْرِ وَاسْجُدُوا لِلَّهِ الَّذِي خَلَقَهُنَّ إِنْ كُنْتُمْ إِيَّاهُ تَعْبُدُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says and from his signs is the day and the night وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ أَلَيْلَ وَالنَّهَارَ and from his signs is the day and the night. And the sun and the moon, وَشَمْسُ وَالْقَمَرُ لَا تَسْجِدُوا shams And do not prostrate to the, to the sun. وَلَا لِلْقَمَرُ And not to the moon. But rather prostrate to Allah, the one who created them, if it is Him you truly Worship. Ahabat filah in this ayat, as Ibn Kathir he said, Al Khalik li hadhi al Asha hu mustahik lil ibadah. He said the creator of those things is truly the one worthy of worship, the only one worthy of worship. So that affirms for us Tawheed Ahabat filah that it's not simply. Reflecting on the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and worshipping them. And it's not going to the graves and thinking that the righteous, even if we hold them in high esteem and we have love for them, the saints, the pious, those who came before us, but we don't worship them. We don't give them any divinity. As we don't give divinity to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. So it's imperative that we reflect upon that. We reflect upon the ayat, the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the signs of Allah are of two types. Al-ayat shari'ya wa ayat koniya. The ayat shari'ya, that has to do with the verses of the Quran. Those ayat that we read, the speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And may Allah bless us all to be Firm in our reading and consistent in our reading of the Quran and practicing it. And then the ayat Koniya has to do with this the creation, the lily pads, this uh, grass, the, those pelicans, all, all, all of this beauty we see the, the sun, the moon, the stars, the sky, the fact that we have air. Those things are, for, are there for us to reflect upon Allah, to remember Allah. To know that Allah is, is all-powerful and He created everything. And He is the provider and sustainer of everything. We ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil.